Every year, more than $24 billion of financial aid for college goes unclaimed. Unclaimed! Students can change that just by filling out one form. It is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or it's called the FAFSA. So this weekend, you can get free help, free, completing this form and get any questions answered. Joining me this morning is Catherine Beckadale with the Duval County Public Schools and Terry Hollingshead with FSCJ. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for being here. Thank I do you appreciate it. You know, I heard this and you think about how expensive college is and the fact that there is money there that you can apply for and so many students just don't know that it's available to them, which is why you're holding this event. Right. Um, it's interesting because I was reading, you, you say here 2% chance that you'll love filling out this form and an 85 percent chance though that you'll get money right for that is that because this is a little daunting when you look at this form so the paper form is um, roughly around 10 pages long um, however the application is electronic so all of the questions are um, smart so if you answer yes for a certain answer it will expand into more details or if you answer no wow. it actually collapses the questions so families depending on their situation might be able to finish an application in 15 minutes and it might take some of our families 30 to 45 and I think that the key is is that there are certain mistakes that that um, many students end up making when they fill this out and we want to address those this morning since so many kids are thinking about mm -hmm. this so let's start if we can um, and talk about what's simple is is not filling out the form to begin with correct no it's, it's a pretty simple form to fill out but you do have to have the right information with you to do it okay so let's talk about that information first of all you need to have the the right website apparently a lot a lot of students put in the wrong website do they forget the dot gov part right so um, most of our families are so used to doing a dot com mm -hmm. um, and this is a federal form so it is attached to the Federal Department of Education and the U.S. government. So the actual website is fafsa.ed.gov, not fafsa.com, which actually will end up charging families to do the application okay, when it's free. And that's a big difference. So you don't want to end up having to pay for something. Also, not filling out the form immediately, or also the deadline. Explain to me, if you will, then Terry, the the it, a lot of this is first come first serve. Is that right when it comes to the money? There are some parts of the federal financial aid program or some of the corresponding state aid that comes from it is first come first serve, particularly at competitive institutions. So those students who lag or wait a little bit on getting that in may miss out on some of the things that they may qualify for just because they maybe hesitated or felt a little intimidated and, and didn't get it going earlier in the process. And we're in that process now where you can start filling this out and you have a couple of months to do that, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. the, the free application for federal student aid became available on October 1st. Okay. So right now is really still early to the opening, but it's the perfect time to go ahead and get it completed. And what is the importance of having an FSA ID ahead of time? So your FSA ID is your electronic signature. So since you're doing the application online, both the student and parent have to have an electronic signature verifying the information. Um, the process to get an FSA ID takes verification, so you do have to wait for an email to come through so you can activate your FSA ID. And so we encourage our students and parents to do that step first. So when they do come to the event or they're ready to do the FAFSA, they actually can just pop in that information and hit submit and then they're done. I think that what is partly a little overwhelming probably for parents on this is also the IRS information and having, you know, their income verified. Uh, but there's a tool that you can use with this that makes that simple isn't there? Absolutely. Where we talked about some families may be able to complete it in 10 to 15 minutes, that FSA ID that Catherine just spoke about is one of the pieces that if you have that, whether it be at this event or you're filling it out at home, the IRS will actually import all those questions in from your tax return and it's information you've already turned in uh, to the institutions. They already have it. They just want to lay it over your application. And I just want to make one other point also and then I want to move on to the event itself and what I, students and parents need to bring is is that a lot of times when you're reading this apparently um, you misread the definition and can inaccurately answer questions that can make it so that you're not eligible for more financial aid. So keep that in mind. So let's discuss the event. Actually, and Catherine, we can start sure. with you. What kinds of things do students and parents need to bring with them? So they, um, we will be using the 2016 tax return. So in the event that we're not able to use the IRS data retrieval tool, um, having your actual return on hand will allow us to um, complete the form. Um, you do need your social security number, um, dates of birth, and um, things like that. And 
and then um, bank statements and documents that um, indicate other assets that aren't reported on your tax return. Perfect. And then there's going to be an opportunity, is there not, for students and parents who come on Saturday to win some scholarship money? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, with the event that's going on Saturday, it's FSCJ, UNF, JU, and we've all put together uh, over $35,000 in scholarships for attendees. So not only can they get the uh, eligibility for financial aid, but just for showing up and getting the proper help, have an opportunity to win a scholarship. There is a lot of money up for grabs out there, and it's Definitely. important. And you don't, you know, it's scholarship, so you don't mm -hmm. have to pay it back. Right. Thank Absolutely. you, ladies, for being here. This is so important Thank to you. give people at home, particularly students who maybe think that college is not something that they can ever afford. It's not true. There are scholarships that are available to you. Now, the event is tomorrow at two FSCJ locations, the one in downtown and the one in Yuli. It's from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Uh, as Terry mentioned, several colleges and universities are going to be giving away thousands of dollars in scholarships. We are going to post the information along with this entire interview on our website, newsforjax.com. Just look under the morning show page.